Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I'm just going to be painting a flower that I saw online. I wanted to get out and paint, but it rained and then I um, had to pack because I'm going away this weekend and hopefully I'll get some good painting done while I'm away. We're just camping, and it's nice because in my RV I can just relax, and if I'm not feeling well, I can just hang out. No big thing. Yesterday I had done a um, a begonia that I was going to post the video for, but I thought, eh, it wasn't that great a video. So today I'm doing this. Um, looks like a sunflower, but I'm not sure what kind of sunflower it is. Um, it's got a lot of really neat color in it. Um, I'm going to be using my travel palette, which is has Daniel Smith paint, and I'm using that because all of my uh, palettes that I love, or the palette that I love, my DIY palette, is packed away. So I'm going to go ahead with this. Also, I wanted to tell you from my doodle and sketch sketch video, I looked and right inside the box, it must have been in the fluff, was this number three Kalinsky mix brush that is by Rubloff that was in my doodle and sketch box. So I did have both of them. I got the five and the three plus the the little brush that was in the Van Gogh palette. And in my video I also had stated that it was a 12, 12 color palette. It is a 12 color palette but they gave three bonus colors so um, there were 15 in it. But, but anyway, this is my flower that I'm painting here, and I'm just going to continue on. Um, I got a little mess up because I moved this while it was wet, and I had folded my book up. So i um, just trying to see if I like this Kalinsky brush. I normally don't like Kalinsky brushes because they... They tend to bend a lot, but this one, since it's a mix, seems to be when I say bend a lot they're they're a floppier brush they're more hard they're more difficult to, more harder they're more difficult to control, and I tend to use squirrel because squirrel is a little bit easier to control than Kalinsky. It's not quite as um uh floppy, I guess you could say. So, anyway, I'm going to continue on here with my flower. This flower that I'm painting, it's just a photo I found online. Um, it's got some really pretty color to it. I don't know if you can see it here. Now, let me turn the light off here. It's got some pretty color. There's some purple in the center, red, yellow, green. There's blue. it got everything going on. So, that's why I chose this one to paint. And I'm just starting with the green, just because I started with the leaf and decided that's what I would continue with. I'm going to speed this along.
Okay, so here's my quick sunflower or whatever kind of flower it is. I believe it's a sunflower. Um, and I just used some quinacridone, magenta, and ultramarine to make this purple. Then I went back in with indigo to put the little dots in. And then I used those on the outer edges as well. And eventually when I got to the outside, I mixed the indigo in with my quinacridone sienna. And it made it more of a brownish gray. But um, that's it. It was just a quick flower. It's not, you know, it's in my sketchbook. So it's not like a meticulous painting. But it was just fun to do. So everybody be courageous. Paint with wild abandon. And most of all, be kind to each other. Hopefully I'll get some paintings done this weekend for you and I can get them up. So um, if I don't talk to you before then, have a great weekend, everybody. God bless you. Bye-bye. Tell me how I'm going to stay here, Joe.